Saab ESP Electronic Stability Program is new for 2002 and is available as an option on certain 9.5 models. ESP is a stability enhancing control system that senses and then helps correct understeer or oversteer during cornering maneuvers. It's a further development of existing chassis electronic systems, namely ABS and TCS. During cornering, if understeer or oversteer are detected, ESP will intervene by applying the brakes on one or two wheels to help maintain directional stability. In addition to braking, ESP may also reduce engine torque to help negotiate a turn. The ESP program is an important addition to Saab safety. For the driver of the car, turning ESP on could not be simpler. ESP automatically turns on when the ignition is turned on. If desired, the driver of the car can turn the system off by pressing the ESP switch. Pressing the ESP switch again turns the system back on. Turning off ESP will also turn off the traction control function. However, the ABS function is always on. Also note that the ESP function will remain active during braking even if the driver has disengaged ESP with a switch. This is considered a safety aid for the driver. When ESP is shut off and the driver uses the brakes, the selective brake application features of ESP may be activated depending on circumstances. For example, in a cornering situation while braking, ESP might increase the brake force on one wheel and decrease the brake force on another. These are the main components of the ESP system. Many are familiar parts of previous ABS and TCS systems. The ESP control module, component 671, is at the center of the system. The ESP control unit, in effect, controls the functions of the ABS system, TCS traction control, and EBD, or electronic brake distribution. The ESP hydraulic unit contains 12 hydraulic valves, which enable the system to apply the brakes during an evasive maneuver. The ESP control module is found in the conventional location used for ABS units, adjacent to the master cylinder and above the pedal cluster. Note that it now has larger diameter pipes and racing-type braided metal hoses. The ESP control unit replaces the ABS control unit. The brake pressure sensor, component 659, is located on the ESP control unit. It measures the input pressure from the master cylinder primary circuit. This pressure is directly related to the driver's foot pressure on the brake pedal. The steering angle sensor, component 657, is a new component. It is located on the steering column right under the dash. It measures the steering wheel position and rotation from the straight-ahead position. This is the first time a sensor is actually a component located on the P-Bus. Note, however, that the sensor does not communicate directly with TEC2. The yaw rate side acceleration sensor, component 658, is located on a bracket on the exhaust tunnel in front of the gear lever. The sensor is used to measure the yaw rate, meaning the rotational movement as seen from above, and the lateral acceleration of the car. There are four familiar wheel sensors, which calculate wheel speed at each wheel. Let's take a look at how the system works to help control the stability of the vehicle. The steering angle sensor sends information regarding the driver's intention to the ESP control unit based on the steering wheel position and speed of steering wheel rotation. This information is considered the desired value. The yaw rate sensor measures the rotational movement around the car's vertical axis. The sensor sends this actual value to the ESP control unit, which compares it with the desired value. The side acceleration sensor measures the force pulling the vehicle sideways during cornering. The sensor sends this actual value to the ESP, which compares it with the desired value. In an understeering situation, the car tends to continue going straight instead of turning in to the degree the driver has requested through the steering wheel. In response, the hydraulic valves in the ESP system apply brakes to the inside rear wheel, causing the car to turn in along the desired path. Throttle may also be reduced as needed. In an oversteering situation, 
the car begins to turn more sharply than the driver indicated, causing the rear of the vehicle to fishtail. In response, the ESP system may then apply brakes to either one or both of the outer wheels, helping the car to return to a course that follows the driver's intended path. As might be expected, diagnosis of this sophisticated system is via Tech2. As we establish communications with ESP, an informational message is displayed explaining safety concerns while communicating with the ESP system. This is the menu for read values on the 2002 ESP system. Note that familiar ABS data, such as wheel speed, is displayed, since ESP also controls ABS and TCS functions. Notice several new data parameters which are displayed. For example, brake pressure. This value will change depending on the driver's foot pressure on the brake pedal. Monitoring this data value is one step of the diagnostic procedure for the brake pedal sensor. We can monitor the steering angle sensor's information regarding steering wheel position, plus or minus 530 degrees or 2.9 turns lock to lock. The steering angle sensor values must be calibrated after replacement of the steering angle sensor, ESP control unit, or after a wheel alignment. The steering angle sensor is sensitive to incorrect wheel alignment, and the ESP system will not function correctly if the straight-ahead position is off by more than plus or minus 15 degrees. It is, of course, calibrated by using Tech2. Here's how it's calibrated. Before beginning calibration, make sure that the steering wheel is centered when the wheels are straight ahead. If not, a wheel alignment must be performed. Connect Tech 2 and select Programming, Steering Angle Sensor. Follow the on-screen instructional sequence in Tech 2. In effect, this tells ESP, use this wheel position as the straight-ahead centered position. To finish, read and clear ESP trouble codes. Now, test drive the car briefly.